Satellites are quite tiny compared to the other celestial objects in the sky. Still, they can be visible in a clear night sky. N2YO website, useful for tracking the passage of satellites in the sky for amateur radio communications, can also be used to find out the brightest satellites. If you click on magnitude in the page, it can sort the satellites according to the brightness in ascending or descending order. The brightest, of course, is International Space Station with a magnitude of minus 0.5. You can compare this with the current brightness of Venus of minus 4.1. Incidentally, Venus will be brightest in the evening sky on 7th July 2023 with a magnitude of minus 4.7. Venus will be brightest in the morning sky on 19th September 2023 with a magnitude of minus 4.8. Venus is so bright because it has a high albedo of 0.7, meaning that it can reflect about 70% of incident sunlight. Satellites are seen when the sky is dark and the satellite reflects sunlight back to us. They can be seen up to about 45 minutes before sunlight and 45 minutes after sunset. Sky is too light when it is nearing sunrise and soon after sunset. Satellite is potentially visible if your latitude is close to or below the inclination of a given satellite which can be tracked from N2YO website mentioned earlier. I have seen the International Space Station passing across my sky from southwest to northeast long back when I found the pass timing in a local newspaper. It was sailing across the sky like a bright star and was a spectacular sight. PSLV RYB is among the next brightest satellites with a magnitude of zero. PSLV RYB was launched from Sriharikota, India. Now what is this magnitude scale? It is how bright the objects look in the sky, initially mentioned for stellar brightness. Magnitude is expressed in a logarithmic scale in which Magnitude 1 star is 100 times brighter than a magnitude 6 star. According to Wikipedia, Sun has a magnitude of minus 27 and the brightest star visible in the night sky has a magnitude of minus 1.46. It is also mentioned that International Space Station can sometimes reach a magnitude of minus 6, much brighter than any other star in the sky. That was exactly how I found it when I had the opportunity to see it pass across our sky long back. Stars up to a magnitude of about 6 are visible to the naked eye. Now what makes the International Space Station shine in the night sky? According to NASA website, there are no bright lights on the outside of the space station. International Space Station shines by reflecting as much as 90% of the light that hits it. That would be an albedo of 0.9, quite near the albedo 1 of snow. Even the solar arrays of space station, which absorb sunlight to power the station, have a reflectivity of 35%. Now, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and watch the International Space Station sailing across your sky at the next best opportunity with a clear sky by tracking it. <laughs>